Hello, welcome to another Rightly Witterings with me, Michael Jex, tea drinking author. Very nice. Twinings number four, very good. So, today, a good friend of mine, Bernard Knight, who was one of the founders of Medieval Murderers with me, uh, he, he's been a writer for many years. He's written the Crown of John series of medieval stories, he's written uh, modern day books, he's written futuristic books, he's written a number of things including these Knight's Forensic Pathology and Editing Simpsons Forensic Pathology for Police. Lots of stuff. He always used to use fountain pens, he was like me, he hated ballpoints. But now unfortunately his eyesight's really bad. He can't use fountain pens anymore, so he's given me a bunch of them. And today I'm going to talk about this briefly. It's a Pilot Metropolitan. He gave it to me recently because he couldn't use it. I've given it a good clean through and now it's one of my favourite pens actually for a really not expensive one. As soon as I've done that, I'm also going to talk about this. The Power of Three from Yop and Tom because it's fascinating and I think it's worth a look. So let's get on with it. So what is this fascinating little pen? This is a Pilot Metropolitan Animal Edition apparently. It's a simple cigar shape. It has a sort of a black, not lacquer, but painted finish, which is quite tactile. It's nice to the hand with this little crocodile skin decoration around the middle here. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. The only writing on it is here where it says Pilot Japan. On the side of the clip it says Japan and on this side it says Pilot, just in case you got confused. It's a simple sort of design, good strong clip, so I feel absolutely safe using this on my shirt. Pull it open and you have a step down here. It's just a simple push fit. So just put it on, pull it off. Nice and straightforward. I really like that. It has this nice progressive um, tapering and then a flare at the bottom so your fingers don't slide off the end. That's good. Steel nib. This says it's a medium. But it's a Japanese style medium, which I think makes it a fine as far as I'm concerned. When you want to fill it, well, let's just say first, if you want to post it, it's a nice fit and there's a sort of a plastic interior to the cap, which grips very nicely. To fill it, cartridge converter, nice and straightforward. This is filled with KWZ's Baltic Memories, which I find is a lovely ink. I actually got this from Bernard and it was in a pretty dreadful state. The cartridge converter was very loose and very sloppy and I discovered after filling it with writer's blood that evening I had a large red blood-like stain on my shirt because unbeknownst to me the cartridge converter was leaking. So I've replaced that with a new one and this works beautifully and it feels splendid to write with. So as you can see here, it's a Pilot Metropolitan, it leaked, yes. It is filled, the whole pen weighs about 27 grams. The cap is 10, the body is 8. There's a rounding error because of my scales. They're not particularly good. I've found it on the internet for between $19 and $24, depending on whether you go to Jet Pens or Goulet or somewhere else. On eBay in the UK, it's £49. So roughly uh, more than double the price, certainly. And then no doubt there's extra for postage. The ink is Baltic Memories, which I love because it has got a sheen to it, but it's a subtle sheen. It's not one of those shouting in your face sheens. So I like Baltic Memories. The nib is a medium, but it writes much more like a European fine, I reckon. Very, very smooth. 
Total size is capped, it's 13.8 centimetres, 12 and a half if it's uncapped, 15.3 if it's posted, which if you're English or American, that's five and a half inches, four and 15 sixteenths or six. The section is at the narrowest, eight and a half millimetres. At the widest part here, it's 13. And at the top of the step here, where the chrome plating is, is 10.8. What can I say about it? Basically, I love it. I think it's a really nice size. It's a really good weight, fits in my hand perfectly. And it allows me to make very quick notes when I want to, when I'm out and about. And at about $19 to buy a new one, if I'm in America, not here in the UK, I reckon that's a very good value pen. Very, very fond of that. Next up, here is the Yop and Tom Power of Three Goal Planner. This is the little sleeve that comes with it. It says 52 weekly layouts, start your planner at any date, weekly, uh, yearly, quarterly, monthly and weekly planners. Other information it's got? Well, it's Yop and Tom from www.yopandtom.com, designed in London, made in China. Shame about the Chinese bit, but you can't have everything. It is a very delightful book. Power of three on the spine here. Power of th can you can you see that with it? Oh, that's better. Power of three, and down the bottom it says Yop and Tom. Power of three on the front, Yop and Tom on the back. This is terrible. I can't see very well what this is picking up, so I apologise now. It has a good moleskin style snap, bit of elastic. Hard back, seems to be very well manufactured, it seems very solid, and it feels glorious. It's got a sort of suede effect. They do these in a bunch of different colours and I can vouch for the fact that they seem to be enormously well made. So, stay up to date with the Yop and Tom product releases. Okay, thank you. We hope you enjoy your purchase. 100% satisfaction guarantee, etc. So, let's have a look here. This planner belongs to, name and everything else, Yop and Tom. This first bit is quite a strong piece of card. And it has a bunch of helpful, hopefully, comments here. So, do you want to hit your goals, change your life? Yes, I do. That would be a nice idea. The rule of three is a well-known concept in a variety of fields. Right. It's a way of splitting up, dividing, organising and explaining. Okay. Used in many areas like Story writing, rhetoric, public speaking, economics, aviation. Oh, yeah. Right. OK. The reason why the number three is so prolific has nothing to do with magic. It has everything to do with how our brain processes. So it runs through the logic of why they reckon this is a good system to use. Goal setting, goal execution, reflection and migration back to goal setting. So it's got an explanation of all the different things that you should be looking at whether it's work, career, education, spiritual, anything like that, and so on. Begin with the end in mind, it says. Now, it has got three different bookmark ribbons, which is good, because it means I can set this up. So, at the back here, one of those things I like to do with anything like this is to test how well the paper copes with a fountain pen. And do you know what? This paper is fabulous. Look at that enormous complete lack of bleed through shadowing or anything else. This paper is really good quality. It feels like it must be over 100 GSM. I would imagine it's very similar to William Hanna at about 115. 
it works brilliantly. The other reason why I wanted to test it with this pen with KWZ ink is to see whether you get sheen and you do. It's not as prominent as it would be in Rhodia paper, but it is there even if you can't see it on this camera. I've often found trying to demonstrate sheen on a camera to be next to impossible, but take it from me, there is sheen. I should apologise for that little smudge there. That's nothing to do with the paper. That's because I had a hair on the nib. These things happen. So what is actually in this book, this brilliant little book? First of all, the pages are numbered. Always a really good idea. I like having pages numbered. First of all, you have a yearly overview. You have these heading areas here, which are smudged out. That's where you can put the months that you're starting. And then you've got the weeks, uh, sorry, the days running through the month. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got 12, so you've got one whole year going across and you can put in the year itself at the top here. After that, we go to a yearly focus. So what three areas do you want to plan out for the year? Things you can gain control of, things you can't control, goals, notes. Uh, do something your future self will say, will thank you for. Hmm. How will achieving this help me? How do I measure success? Notes, milestones for the goals. Then a second goal, goal milestones. Whoops. A third goal, goal milestones. Then you've got the one month planner. So you can plan out what you want to do per week. One, two, three, four, five. Tasks to complete, monthly focus, etc. One month planner for each of three months. And then after the three months, you've got an area where you can reflect. And then what is the new focus for the next three months? Goal milestones, goal two milestones, goal three, etc. So you can see how this is laid out. You can see how the whole thing operates. So you've got your monthly planners and so on. And then after that, you have your weekly planners. So you plan what you want to do during the week. You have a weekly focus, weekly tasks, to-do list. And this all looks very organised and very efficient. I'm an author, I'm not organised or efficient, but I appreciate things that might help me. What's also useful here is they don't just give you a book with a whole bunch of things. On page 207, it starts with examples. So you can see here, you've got the dates written in, you've got different ways that you can set out projects, targets, whatever it is you want to look at. Areas of focus, it runs through different things there. Yearly goals. Notes, remember to reward yourself when you hit a goal. Then you've got the three-month goal planners. You've got goal milestones. And this I find really useful. Yop and Tom have set out everything so that you can see how it should be operating for you. I haven't seen that with too many other planning goal oriented type things. This is really, really good. Um, weekly focus, blog articles, meditate more fitness, where you can keep the meditation. Personally, just a bit of time to read a book would be much better for me. Goal reflections. Um, you've released your first podcast, get two and a half thousand followers on Instagram, affiliate revenues. So important dates, important contacts. And that is your lot. So what are my views on this? First off, it feels lovely and it looks, I think, thoroughly professional. Very impressed with the looks. I like the fact you've got the three bookmarks because that means it's a lot easier to keep a track of your weekly planner where you are, your one month planners and your goal planners. That, that makes a lot of sense. I like that. It is a combined diary and project management type of book. I like the fact that it has, where's the end of it? 
it has proper stitching so you can see it is well made I like the fact it's got a notes section which is set out with a dot grid pattern I, I always like that I really really like the fact that it's got set up some examples so you can see how you ought to be using it as far as they're concerned so in total it feels well designed it feels a premium product I don't know whether the goal planning aspect is going to work but I'll tell you what I'm certainly going to be trying it out and seeing I've tried a number of different planning goal planning type systems in the past I've tried them all I've got day runner still up here which I started in the 80s I've tried Filofax Ugh, that didn't last long I've tried any number of different schemes including ones that are set up specifically for authors I have to say this looks and feels by far and away the best out of the bound planning type systems it looks the part it feels really good in the hand and the thing that really gets to me is this paper it is superb I don't know what sort of paper it is but the fact that onto the wrong page there let's just go back a little bit here we go the fact that there's no bleeding there's no feathering there's no bleed through no shadowing nothing at all this little mark here by the way I think was in the printing of the paper it's nothing to do with uh, ink coming through that I can see so the paper is superb I really like the fact it's got the page numbers in it all in all what's not to like for a total price of uh, whatever they are I'm going to put that somewhere else it's superb there you have it two rather excellent products the Metropolitan pen from Pilot or more precisely from Bernard Knight bless him which is and has been for the last couple of weeks my daily carry because it's light enough to fit in my shirt here quick and easy to use just to pull the cap off and it's ready to go superb little nib works very well on almost all paper it is a joy to use and then for the purposes of absolute uh, clarity Yop sent me this from Yop and Tom very grateful to him uh, I should say there's absolutely no payment or anything else involved it was sent to me just for review purposes I'm personally very impressed there's only one thing that has gone slightly wrong which is that in the first section there's been a little bit of movement in the paper so the binding is a little bit loose I think yes you can see here I think that the stitching came apart slightly so I don't know if that's because I was particularly hard on the stitching or if it was just a bit of bad luck I personally think that's probably just a bit of bad luck I put that one down to experience but it doesn't change my mind that out of all of the different project planners I've tried this is definitely the best in terms of the quality of production the quality of the paper and the thought that's gone into the design which makes a big difference I have tried others I like others it won't replace for example my William Hannas which are superb excellent quality paper the leather bindings are just fantastic and I'm completely hooked on them I won't ever get rid of them but this could replace them for from the point yeah I don't use my William Hannas as project management devices I use them to write things out when I want to remember them because they just look and feel so good 
This is something that's a bit different. This is something I will be using. I've got a lot of projects coming up. I've got to work on... Oh, I've got a book I've got to edit in the month of September. I've got to prepare for two Smithsonian Journeys trips that I'm the tour expert for in October. Then I've got to prepare for a new book which has to be written and in with the publishers by April. And then as soon as that's done, I've got to crack on with the next book in my modern day series, um, the Art of Murder series. So I've got enough projects to fill my time right now. Using this may well just be a little bit of additional focus that really helps. So there you have it. Right. Hope that was interesting. Do please let me know down the bottom if you've got any questions. If you've got a comment along the lines of the one I had last week, which is that um, since you're someone who's so keen on fountain pens, why on earth don't you try to make your writing a bit better? Well, the short answer to that is if you try writing with a camera in the way, your penmanship goes downhill somewhat. But the other thing is, of course, that I don't write for prettiness, I write for clarity so that I can see what I need to do, which I will be replying to that chap with that comment. That wasn't English at all. This is the effect of editing for the last month and a half, a book solid, working far too many hours per day. So I will now shut up. I will go away. I will edit this video and then I'm going to go out for a cycle ride while the weather's still moderately good. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that was interesting. Don't forget, if you want to support the channel, go to the Patreon link. You can go there. Subscribe, hit the bell button, like it, comment on it, all those good things. And in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Cheers.